In this video, I'm going to derive the formula for the curvature at a point on the curve y equal f of x in 2d. And uh, to begin with, I'm going to review the derivation of the curvature from the Frenet Serre formulas, which I did in a previous video and which is linked below by clicking on the title. So now I have a curve in 3D in terms of, given in terms of a parameter S, where S is the length along the curve from some fixed point. Then at some point 1, I have a tangent T, which is equal to dr dS, and uh, 2 is a neighboring point on that tangent. Then I have a tangent at point 2, which is t plus dt, and 3, a neighboring point on the tangent from 2 to 3. Now, the two tangents t and t plus dt define a plane, and points 1, 2, 3 lie in that plane, so they determine a, a, a circle of curvature in that plane. Now, uh, if I take, if I take t and t plus dt, I can find dt as shown here, and you can see that dt is in the plane of these two curves, and dt is equal to dt ds times ds. Now I note that dt is perpendicular to t, so that dt is in the plane of curvature, of the curvature. Now, then it follows from this that n, which is equal to dt ds over the magnitude of dt ds, is a unit, is a unit vector pointing perpendicular to the curve in this direction. And uh, n is equal to, and, and what I've done here is just uh, take, taken the shortcut of defining dt D, uh, differentiation with respect to s by a prime. So that, that that's, so here are our first two formulas, t is equal to dr ds, uh, that, that's a unit vector, n is a unit vector perpendicular to the curve at, at the point of tangency, and b is a definite b equal t cross n. All the vectors are illustrated in this diagram. Now, with that basis, uh, we, can, we can start to derive the formula as follows. R, the position vector of point 1, is equal to cap R, the position vector of the center of the circle of curvature, plus the vector from the center of curvature to the, the, the circle, which is uh, minus rho n, because n is pointing in the opposite direction. So that from this I get dr is equal to minus rho dn, if I divide that both sides by ds, I get dr ds is equal to minus rho dn ds. And so we get our first formula for curvature. t is equal to minus rho times n prime. Now, if I, I can get another formula, if I cross, take the cross product of b times that formula to get b cross t is minus rho b cross n prime, and b cross t... Uh, you can see from the little diagram here, b cross t is equal to n. Then I also have that t is equal to minus b cross n, which you also get from this little triad. If I take the uh, derivative of that, I get t prime is equal to minus b cross n prime minus b prime cross n. But on, on, the, on, on the circle of curvature, b prime is a, is a con, b is a constant, so b b prime is zero, and I get t prime is equal to minus b cross n prime, from which I get that substituting uh, this and this in here, I get that t prime is equal to n is equal to rho t prime. If I define cap as one over rho, I get that t prime is equal to kappa n, where kappa is, is the curvature, which is one over the radius of curvature. And from this, I get by taking the magnitude of both sides that kappa is equal to the magnitude of the 
of t prime. Now I can derive another expression for cap from this formula by taking uh, the cross product, taking t times the cross, taking the cross product of t with this formula to get t cross t is equal to kappa t cross n, and t cross n again is looking from the this is invaluable in, in figuring out what these little cross products are. I get that uh, t cross t prime is kappa b, and if I take the magnitude of both sides of this equation, magnitude of b is, is 1 because it's a unit vector. So I get that kappa is equal to the magnitude of, of t cross t prime, which is the formula that I'm going to work with to determine the radius of curvature of, of this curve. And the reason I'm going to work with this formula is it's easier. If, if you work with this formula, you, you, get, in, you get into a, a mess of derivatives and you, you, you run to a standstill, whereas this works out very nicely because it takes out the cross product of a nasty term. <laughs> it take, the cross product takes out a nasty term. All right, now I'm going to change the curve parameter by giving the length s as a function of t. If I do that, then again, using the chain rule from using the using the chain rule from calculus, I get that t is the r ds, which is the r dt, dt ds, or the r dt, the s dt. Then t prime is equal to dt ds, which is dt dt, dt ds, or dt dt over the s dt. And then I get that dt dt from this equation, t is equal to this, as follows. I get dt dt, taking that derivative. Now, if I form the cross, cross product of t cross t prime from these terms, I get this term plus a term involving the r dt cross the r dt, which is equal to zero. So that takes care of this, that get, gets rid of this nasty uh, derivative here. Then the, the, the magnitude of t cross t prime is equal to, uh, from here, r dot cross R double dot divided by the S dt cubed. Then at this point I note that the S is equal to the magnitude of the R from which the S dt is equal to the magnitude of the R dt so that over the S dt, the S dt becomes this term the R dt. Uh, for, for, at, at this point the, the derivation for 2d almost becomes trivial. It's, it's just a little bit of algebra. To, to, to get that, I'm going to let t, the parameter t, be equal to x, the independent variable. In which case, I can write this as r is equal to xi plus y of xj. And then I get that r dot is equal to i plus y dot j, and r double dot is y double dot j. And again, I, I just don't have that much room. So I'm just going to do, it, if you do the, if you substitute these terms into this term, you will find that r dot cross r, if you, if you, using these terms, you will find r dot cross r double dot is equal to y double dot k. And then you, now you also need uh, the s dt squared or dr dt, the same absolute value of the oddity, the same thing. By, by, note, you're gonna, by noting ds is equal, from calculus again, ds is equal to the square root of 1 plus y dot squared times dt, which makes the dt equal to the square root of 1 plus y dot squared. Now, if you substitute in the formula for kappa, then you get the formula from calculus for the curvature at a point of a curve y equal f of x. Now, uh, <coughs> in addition, I, I, I note that t is equal to this term, the, uh, which uh, the r dt over ds dt, so the r dt, the r dt, r dot is i plus yj, I, the r dt is i plus yj over ds dt over the square root of 1 plus y squared, y, y dot squared to the, to the 1 half, 
And finally, by definition of uh, B, N is equal to T cross B, and that's equal to T cross K, because B now is pointing, B is equal to K pointing into the board. If I do that calculation, I get the expression for N. Uh, I ran out of space here, so it's just a trivial calculation. So, so we have the, so we have the expression for the curvature, uh, the, the tangent, and the normal for a curve y equal f of x in two d. Thank you.